Hello and welcome back to the channel. We have another exciting matchup for you. This time, it is between professional boxer Jake Paul and current MMA fighter and boxer Anderson Silva. Both men are known for their fighting skills, but who do you think will win if they face off? Find out in this video. But before we get started, kindly hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and click on that notification icon so you never miss any of our upcoming videos. With that done, let's meet our two fighters before heading into the arena. Jake Joseph Paul was born in Cleveland, Ohio on January 17, 1997. He is an American professional boxer and a social media personality. Jake grew up with his older brother, Logan Paul, in Westlake, Ohio. His brother is a YouTuber, and they started filming themselves since they were 10. Jake's parents are Gregory Allen Paul and Pamela Ann Stepnick. Jake started his career when he was posting videos on Vine. During this period, Vine was discontinued by Twitter Inc. Jake had 5.3 million followers at this time and 2 billion views on the app. On May 15, 2014, Jake started his YouTube channel, which is known for controversies, pranks, and his music. After getting some level of popularity from his YouTube and Vine, Jake got hired to play a part in a Disney Channel series, Bizardvark. He played a character that accepted any dare requests given to him. By July 2017, during the filming process for season two, Disney announced that Jake would be leaving the show. Apparently, Jake got fired by Disney due to the report from KTLA about complaints from his neighbors because of the noise of his pranks, fire hazards, and parties generated. He confirmed on Twitter and said he would focus more on himself, his YouTube channel, and possibly more acting roles. Jake and his brother Logan fought with KSI and his younger brother Deji Olatunji in a pair of amateur matches. Jake defeated Deji in the fifth round via technical knockout. Jake made his professional boxing debut on January 30th, 2020 against a YouTuber, Ann S. and Gibb, known as Gibb. Jake won the match via TKO in the first round. It was announced in July 2020 that he was having his second professional bout against Nate Robinson, a professional basketball player, as a part of the undercard for the Mike Tyson vs. Roy Jones Jr. exhibition match. The matchup was initially supposed to be held on September 12th, but was moved to November 28th to maximize revenue. The fight ended with Jake winning via KO in the second round. Jake had his third professional bout against Ben Askren, former Bellator and one welterweight champion, on April 17th in Atlanta. Jake won the fight in round one via TKO. Jake had a matchup with Tyron Woodley, a former welterweight champion on August 29th, 2021, and won by split decision. The two had a rematch on December 18th, where Jake again defeated him via KO. Jake Paul also released a few songs in 2020. Songs like Fresh Out of London, 23, and Dummy, featuring TV Gucci. Anderson Da Silva was born in Brazil on April 14, 1975. He is an MMA fighter and a boxer. Anderson grew up in a very poor family and spent most of his childhood living with his aunt and uncle in Curitiba. His uncle was in the Curitiba police force. Anderson's first foray into martial arts started as a child when he was training jujitsu with his neighborhood kids. In his teenage years, Anderson started training in capoeira, taekwondo, and muay thai. Anderson started off his career in Brazil, where he fought in the welterweight category. In 1997, he made his professional debut with a pair of wins. 
He claimed his first loss in 2000 against Luis Acerado, who won by decision. After the loss, he went on a winning streak of nine fights. After he won his first match in Japan, he was up to face Hayato Sakure, the Shuto champion, on August 26, 2001. Anderson won after three rounds via unanimous decision and became the first person to defeat Sakure, who hadn't lost in his first 20 fights, and of course, claimed the Shuto Middleweight Championship. Anderson started fighting in Pride Fighting Championships in 2002. In his first fight there, he stopped Alex Stiebling with a cut from a high kick. His next match was against Alexander Atsuka, which he won via decision. At Pride 25, Anderson faced Carlos Newton, former UFC welterweight champion, where he won via technical knockout. At Pride 26, Anderson had an underwhelming loss against Deju Tekes, who had a record of four wins and seven losses. After he lost to Tekes, he wanted to quit MMA, but was convinced not to by Antonio Rodrigo Naguera. Anderson competed in the Cage Rage promotion in England and defeated Lee Murray at Cage Rage 8. He also competed in Hawaii's Rumble on the Rock promotion. In the first round of the 175 pound tournament, he fought Yushin Okami, but was eliminated from the tournament after making an illegal strike to Okami. Anderson said that he didn't have enough knowledge of the rules prior to the game. In late April 2006, UFC announced Anderson signing to a multi-fight contract. He made his UFC debut on June 28, 2006 at Ultimate Fight Night 5, where he faced Chris Levin, who was undefeated in the UFC. Anderson made an outstanding debut after knocking Levin out in 49 seconds into the first round. That same year, on October 14th, Anderson won the UFC middleweight and, still today, holds the record for the longest title reign of 2,457 days and has 16 consecutive wins in that span. In November 2020, he left UFC for boxing and is today regarded as one of the greatest MMA fighters of all time. Now that we know our fighters well enough, let's get down to the main action. These two fighters have never been in a fight, at least that we know of. To get our winner in this matchup, we'll be judging our contestants across four categories, fight pedigree, physique, skill, and improvisation. Both fighters will be scored with a maximum of 10 points for each category, and the fighter with the higher cumulative wins. Are you ready? Then let's get down to business. Fighting Pedigree Anderson Silva has been training in martial arts since his childhood and teenage years. In his MMA career, he had 34 wins and 11 losses, having 23 wins by knockout. His professional boxing career has had three wins and one loss. Jake, on the other hand, has been into boxing professionally for just two years with five wins and zero losses with four knockout wins. Considering Anderson has way more fighting experience than Jake, he'll be winning this one with nine to six points for Jake. Physique. These two have a good physique. Though Anderson might be older, he is still very much in shape. Jake has a 15 inch bicep and Anderson 16 inches. Jake Paul stands at 6 feet 1 inch and weighs 86 kilograms, while Anderson is slightly taller, standing at 6 feet 2 inches and weighs 84 kilograms. Considering how close this is, it would be unfair to give anyone the lead, so we'll be giving both fighters 9 points each. Skill Because Jake has only been pro boxing for like 2 years, skill wise, he isn't touching Anderson. Anderson Silva has a third degree black belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, a fifth Dan black belt in Taekwondo, 
and a yellow rope in capoeira. All these make him possess a very good skill set. With that said, Anderson has the win with eight points and Jake with six points. Improvisation. This one will also go to Anderson. Considering his experience, we feel he would have some tricks up his sleeve in a fight with Jake. Anderson seven points, Jake six. The verdict? With 33 points, Anderson comes out the winner over Jake Paul with 27 points. Do you agree with our verdict? Feel free to let us know what you think in the comment section. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.